In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. I want to share with you now just a short reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 32 through to chapter 5, verse 11. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that the, of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Nor was there anyone among them who lacked, for all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the proceeds of the things which were sold, and laid them at the apostles' feet, and they distributed to each as any one had need. And Joseph, who was also named Barnabas by the apostles, which is translated the son of encouragement, a Levite of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. But a certain man named Ananias and Zephira, his wife, sold a possession, and he kept back part of the proceeds. His wife, being also being aware of it, and bought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourselves. While it remained, was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have lied to men, but not to God. Then Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his lusts. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young men arose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. Now it was about three hours later when his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter answered her, Tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, Yes, for so much. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who buried your husband are at the door, and they will carry you out. And immediately she fell down at his feet to breathe her lust. And the young man came in and found her dead, and carried her out, buried her by her husband. So great fear came upon all the church, and upon all those who heard these things. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.